Thursday the 21st today. It's a public holiday here in Tassie. Um, and it's currently 8.30 in the morning. So all kids are home. Um, Shane's home. And at 10 o'clock we have a doula appointment or home visit. And it's the first home visit um, for, like for the doula. So that's going to be really interesting. I don't really know what to expect. Um, but yeah, I'm really glad I ended up hiring her because it's just going to be great to have that extra support during labour for both me and Shane. Um, and like here at the house too, like when I go into labour she can come here, which is great. But anyway, it's been a while since I picked up the camera because yeah, I've been in exam period so... Well, I am in exam period. I have my first exam on Monday and then another one on Thursday and then I don't have another one for like a week and a half and that's a take home so I'm not too stressed about that one. So I've got 24 hours to do it so it's not as intense as the other two and a half hour exams. But yeah, things have just been very busy. Um, Eden's basically be going to daycare full time so that I can study but once that Thursday exam is over I'm just looking forward to having a little bit of a rest and spend time with my family because I literally don't stop studying until probably like sometimes last night it was 8.45 I didn't stop studying until and you know I start as soon as the kids go to school so yeah it's long days like that's a 12 hour day but anyway I'll be happy once it's over and it'll be worth it and it's my final semester so I graduate in December and yeah I just have to make it through which to be honest hasn't been very easy um I've just been struggling a lot with my mental health and like my pregnancy hormones and yeah yesterday was a hard day but hoping today is better and I feel a bit normal. It's the first time I've put makeup on in like over a week so feeling a bit more put together and organised and whatever this morning and Shane's been just cleaning the house all morning so that's really helpful <laughs> and makes me feel better. But anyway, I'm probably just going to vlog the next couple of weeks when so like when I have something on, um, so like I've got my doula appointment today and then I've got um, my GTT test coming up after I sit my exam on Thursday and then I have a calm birth course um, on the Saturday um, and lots of other little appointments so I'll probably just vlog over the next couple of weeks and it'll be just one big vlog. Um, yeah when I finally finish everything so <sighs> it's probably going to be a bit messy but I'm going to do my best <laughs> and I'll check in later after the doula has visited. <laughs> Oh, that is a big bump. 
I thought I would sit down and give an update about everything that's been going on. As you would have seen, I added a little bit of footage from my GTT test, which is gestational diabetes test, um, or gestational, or glucose intolerance test, or whatever it is, tolerance test. Um, and anyway, I was so sick yesterday. I had every intention to pick up the camera and vlog, um, but that just did not happen because yeah, I felt awful. I was on the verge of throwing up. I couldn't drive home. Shane had to come pick me up. But anyway, I will sit down and do a little bit of an update. We had our calm birth course today um, and that was amazing. And then we've been out getting things we need. So yeah, I'll sit down and fill you in. I feel like it's been a while. Well, it has been a while. I think my last YouTube video was probably like four weeks ago now. Um, but anyway, I have a cup of tea. I'm gonna sit down and fill you in what's been happening. Um, because yeah, it's been so hectic. I've just been trying to survive. Um, this last week especially, I should probably say today's Saturday. Um, I don't even know the date. <laughs> it's like the end of October, the 30th of October. Um, and yeah, things have just been very hectic this week. I sat two exams. I, um, Ruby had su suspected chicken pox, so she had to get a swab and that had to be sent to another state. So it took five days for that to come back. And meanwhile, I'm in like a state of panic, a state of absolute anxiety because yeah, chicken pox while pregnant can be actually quite really, really dangerous. So anyway, I went and had bloods drawn to check that I was immune because I actually wasn't vaccinated because it was before I was born before, like it was on the vaccine um, list, like by the government and I wasn't caught up. So I know I had a really nasty case of chicken pox as a child. Um, so we thought I was immune, but there was no proof of my bloods. So I had to go and have that done on Tuesday, I believe. Um, and Ruby got swabbed on Monday um, and I had sat an exam on Monday. Thank God it was quite one of the easier exams I have this semester. Um, so it wasn't too bad. And then, yeah, so Tuesday, then Thursday, I sat another exam, which that one was much harder. Um, and Ruby's still home this whole time from school. Thank God Shane had the week off and we always plan it like that. When I sit my exams, he usually has like that week off or, you know, a week and a half off. So he was home to take care of her. He took her to the doctors twice. Um, I was constantly on the phone to the nurse, like checking in, trying to see if her results came back, on the phone to pathology about my results. Like it was just hectic. But anyway, Thursday I sat another exam and then, yeah, I went and did my GTT test yesterday. And it just made me feel so disgusting. I was sitting in the waiting room um, gagging, having hot flushes, feeling almost like I was going to pass out. So I stood up and asked the nurse if I could go and lie down on one of the beds. And she was kind of like, oh, like, I don't know if we can do that. Cause then you'd be taking up one of the rooms. And what if we get really busy? And I was just like, I just need to lie down. Like, please just let me lie down because I was going to like pass out or throw up either or, um, which is weird because I haven't, I don't remember ever feeling that sick. I remember feeling a little bit sick last time I did it, but that was like three years ago. Um, and yeah, so I'm not really sure what happened, but yeah, it just made me feel awful. Anyway, I managed to get through it without vomiting, which is good because if I didn't, then it just wouldn't count and like you can't use the results. Um, but anyway, I did and then I had to call Shane to come pick me up and um, get my sister-in-law to drive <laughs> our um, other car home that I had driven there and yeah it was just a mess so anyway I spent most of the afternoon in bed with a headache as well because I don't know if I guess that's related as well and I've also had a bit of a headache today but thankfully now that we're home it's kind of settled down anyway that's the past week for us before that I was studying for exams I was 
during school holidays, I might add, um, and I was writing an honours paper that I had to hand in for my honours. And yeah, it's just been the most hectic month ever. Um, but apart from that, we had our calm birth course today, which was amazing. Um, the lady who takes it is just finishing her like certification, but she's also a midwife, so she knew like everything. She was yeah, obviously very informed and it was great. It was all about like challenging the beliefs that we have um, and looking at things differently to have a more calm mindset and just about like the stages of labor and what happens in the mind. It was mainly just what happens in the mind um, this session and then like we talk more about labor and after labor um, next session can hear someone coming up the stairs so I might get interrupted but yeah it was really good and um, very inexpensive in comparison to I might add she came to the house and it was a private session and I requested that because I do have PTSD and I have talked about that before on here um, just surrounding like previous experiences I have and then I also have like anxiety generalized anxiety disorder as well so yeah there's a lot going on <laughs> mentally for me so I like to feel comfortable when I'm learning about things and possibly medical situations that may trigger me um, because my PTSD surrounds like medical experiences that I've had so yeah anyway but it was great she came to the house and yeah was very informative but I think that is all that I have to update I mean it doesn't sound like that much but it really has been a lot and I mean I'm 28 weeks pregnant I'm officially in the third trimester my ribs are killing me um, I have heartburn half the time like yeah I'm just at that stage but I'm feeling okay I'm feeling I mean I haven't been feeling okay um, this week was one of the most stressful weeks I've ever had ever just because of yeah the anxiety about Ruby having chicken pox and me potentially getting it and then it's spreading through the house and it's trying to sit exams like yeah it was just a mess so my mental health has not been the best but I know that it's only situational and that um you know after after I finally sit my last exam which is um, not this week coming, but the week after on the Monday and it's a take-home exam. It's a 24-hour exam So it's more like just writing a quick essay So it's a little bit less stressful <clears throat> And you don't have to study as much for that one So yeah, I just need to get through that and then I'm officially done Hopefully I pass everything <laughs> um, And I will be graduating in December so that is just going to be the one of the biggest milestones of my life, to be honest, because, yeah, I've been studying for the past six years doing a Bachelor of Arts and Law. And, yeah, I plan to have 14 months off with the baby. Then I'm going to, or 14 months off, I won't have a baby for that whole time, but um, obviously he's due in, like, three months um, or even could be sooner. I don't usually make it to full term or 40 weeks. Um, so yeah, I am just excited. I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to finally being able to put a bit more effort in with my YouTube, put a little bit more effort in with my Instagram and do a bit of work on that and have that time off with the baby. Um, and then in 2023, I'll do my prac. Um, so we do like a prac for six months and then we get admitted to the bar um, and then I will be officially um, like a licensed lawyer in Australia so well in Tasmania anyway yeah so that just sounds crazy to me sounds surreal nothing feels real yet I don't feel like I've finished I just feel like more will come but like I'm done I'm so done studying I'm just ready to enjoy my children have time off 
have time with Eden um, while the others are at school and just, yeah, really enjoy life. But anyway, I feel like I'm rambling. So I'm going to go and have a shower after this, take my makeup off and relax now that we're home. We went um, out for lunch with my in-laws and then we went and got costumes for the kids um, because they're going to a Halloween high tea with my in-laws tomorrow. So they'll enjoy that. And yeah, I... I don't think there's anything else to update, but yeah, this video has been all over the place and I'm not sure whether I should just leave it here and upload this or anyway, I'll make the decision, but thank you for watching and not sure if you'll see more or not, but yeah, I think I might, I think I might leave it here and then I can, yeah, film, film some other stuff later. But thank you for watching and I will see you soon.